morning guys so i am thinking that i'm going to do a little vlog today um i don't actually have any bakes to do so it's not going to be baking but it's just going to be a vlog i don't even know if i'm going to post it yet so we're going to see um i'm currently going to the post office and i wanted to have a little mooch around town i don't know what i'm going to find so i thought that if i find any good things then i can show you guys as well so it'll be kind of like a haul um i'm doing a lot of ceramics so it's thursday and over the next until Sunday, I'm going to be doing all day ceramics. So um, I've got the launch on Sunday and I think I kind of just wanted to give you a bit of heads up about that because it's all happening and it's all happening very fast. Um, I've got all my packaging kind of half sorted. I need to do a few more um, like homemade um, like thank you cards and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it's there's a lot to do, um, so I'll go for it more when I get home after going to town. But I thought that you might find it interesting to see what I'm doing on a non-baking day um, and kind of what I get up to. I always have something on. Um, it might not be a baking day, but I end up doing some kind of business related stuff. So this is my second business. So yeah, and then on when I'm not doing that, it's YouTube. So I don't really have that much free time. I don't have time for much else apart from both my jobs and YouTube and any crafts. I spend very little time like watching TV and stuff. So um, yeah, there's a lot going on all the time basically. So I like to keep busy. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go to the post office first, then I'm gonna show you what I buy. So yeah, I will see you in a bit. So I've just arrived in town. I managed to get parking. Um, I went somewhere slightly different because the road parking is always really busy. But I have my two parcels here. Um, so I'm gonna go to the post office first and then I'm gonna go to Wilco's, Poundland and yeah, see where else I end up going. Post office all done. So we're now off to Wilco's and it looks like it's open even though it only does the tiniest bit of food but I guess that's why it's open so yeah we're going to Walkers now. I'm back at the car now look at my massive bag of stuff so I'll show you everything that I got when I get home I got some stuff that I probably didn't need um and then I did get some useful things I might not need them like right this second but they're definitely going to come in handy a few like cake bits and like packaging bits which I thought would be useful um so yeah I'm actually quite proud of how much I spent as well I think it was only I think it was 35 altogether and I bought quite a lot for that so I'm quite proud um a couple of bits a couple of bits are for my sister so obviously she'll be paying me for those but yeah I also look like I'm smuggling kinder hippos because I didn't have enough space in my bag so I shoved them in my actual handbag but yeah we're gonna go home now I'll give you a little haul um and then I'll show you if I'm doing anything else today but this might be it so it's just like a little extra vlog I thought um so that you can see what I'm getting up to on my kind of day off um so yeah but the actual vlog will be up on Friday but because it's got a cake in it which isn't being seen until Thursday evening I don't want to post it before then because obviously I don't want the customer or like the recipient to actually see it um so yeah I thought I'd be safe and not post it so yes um little extra vlog for you guys I will see you when I'm home so I just got back and I thought I'd do a little haul for you I've split it into baking stuff personal stuff and food personal because I've also got like hair and makeup bits so we're gonna start with Wilco's um some stuff I will know the price of if there's anything I probably should show you guys do I have the receipts because that will be the next thing receipts so So I'm going to work through the receipt because I think that's probably easier. So this mixing bowl, I wanted to get a bigger one because I'm doing a lot of brownies and I like to do everything in bowls. I don't like to use a stand mixer. So I want to have another big bowl so that I can do big batches. So that was 75 pence, which I thought was really good. Wilco's is really, really good for stuff like that. Then I've got these measuring jugs, which you can never have too much of. I always melt my chocolate and butter in here for brownies. And just if I'm making chocolate for like cake pops and stuff, I always melt them in these just because it's easy to clean. And I don't think my dad likes me using all the bowls because then we end up with like no um, of the china bowls. So I thought that these were a good addition. These were 35 pence, which is so good. Um, I think I've spent way more than that when I've got them from like Tesco's and stuff. Um, then I got a rolling pin. How much was this? 
The rolling pin was a pound, which again is really good. I'm gonna show you my rolling pin for fondant because it's a tiny little one, but I like to use a little one because if I'm only doing like small bits of fondant for like plaques and like cake toppers, stuff like that, then I don't want a giant rolling pin. This is my current one. It's got like food coloring on it, um, but yeah. This is my current one. It is tiny, it's too small. So I've been looking for a mini one because I just wanted a little one that I can use. So yeah, that was a pound, which is really good. Um, I got some card. Trying to read through this receipt is um, really, really challenging me. So this white card was 125. I got this for my Perfectly Imperfect um, kind of like packaging so I need to do some little thank you cards for the packages so I was going to print them myself because I've designed them myself so I was going to use some card then we have this is the personal stuff by the way so we've got two bath bombs I got pineapple and papaya and strawberry and pomegranate because I have been having baths so much recently and I do love a bath bomb I think it's because I've been getting really bad backache which is because I do so much standing so I've been wanting to have a nice hot bath and it just de-stresses you it's really good so those are the bath bombs I got a hairbrush because as you can probably tell I have very wavy hair and if I brush it when it's dry then it just goes frizzy so I needed one of these detangling ones where it's kind of like a tangle teaser. So I needed one of those, which they don't do in like every shop. And also I've lost my normal hairbrush. So I usually brush my hair when it's wet and then I don't brush it when it's dry. So I literally haven't brushed my hair in like maybe a week and a half. Um, I just kind of comb through it because it's wavy. You can't brush it otherwise it's just gonna go frizzy. So I just have to kind of leave it. Um, but yeah, the only time I brush it is when it's wet and I haven't been able to do that because I can't find my hairbrush. So I had to buy a new one. This was 175, which is really good. So you're gonna see how many times I say really good because I'm well impressed with how cheap all this stuff was. Um, I'm gonna try not to say it again. Um, so I got some little hair bits. So I got these scrunchies. These are mini scrunchies, as you can probably tell. So I thought they'd be cute if I was doing like little plaits or like a little ponytail or something like half up, half down, where I don't want like a giant scrunchie. So I thought they were really cute. They were two pounds. Then I got these little chapsticks. So I got a menthol one and a tinted one. And I'm kind of excited to see what they're like. They were 75 pence. I love a menthol, like anything, um, whether it's like skincare or just like anything that smells menthol, I love it. Um, but I don't know what this tinted one's gonna be like. That is actually really nice. Obviously I don't have any makeup on so it looks a little bit weird, but um, yeah, it's definitely tinted. And for 75 pence, you can't really moan. So we got some growth booster, which is like a little nail growth, because as you can see, I have tiny nails and I don't actually bite them. They just kind of break all the time and they just don't grow. So I just always have little nails. They've got little white bits on the end of them, like the tips, but they just don't grow. So I got some of that, that was 180. I got a new mascara. Um, I think people thought that I was actually going to try it out and obviously because of Covid you can't try anything out obviously and you wouldn't try mascara out but I was just looking at all the brushes and they were all open anyway, just a disclaimer um, they were like all the ones that I tried, they were already like no seals on them or anything as you can see there's no seal um, but yeah I took one from the back but all I did was just open it and look at it so yeah but look at the look at the brush that is amazing so i just i like using mascara and eyebrow stuff at the moment um i don't really wear much face stuff because i'm trying to be better with my skin because it keeps breaking out um but yeah so i thought i'd get a new mascara that was two pounds 80 which is really really good i said it again oh my god <laughs> i'm gonna try not to uh, i got some dry shampoo this is like a fragrance one, it's just like floral. So, because I just like to have it, just in case I don't feel like washing my hair, because my hair's really oily. That's the thing, it's frizzy um, and kind of dry, but then it gets really, really oily and I wash it probably every other day. So it's quite high maintenance. So that was 150, um, the rolling pin was a pound, which I think I already said. Um, I got these pearl slides, which I thought were really cute these little slides for your hair so it just is like I, 
feel like a child when I wear these, but obviously not with this outfit, but I thought that that was really cute. And if I had all my makeup done and looked a bit better, then it would probably look really nice. Um, so yeah, I got those. I thought they were really cute. They were two pounds. Again, all the kind of like hair accessories were two pounds. I didn't want to buy too many because I have so many hair accessories I never use them, but I thought that they were cute. Then I got some eyebrow stuff. Um, the brow gel was £2.50 and this was £2. So I just got a little brow pencil just because I'm trying not to really fill them in. So this is really light. It's actually too light for my hair colour as you can see. But it just means that it will give them a little bit of definition without being crazy. And then I got a little brow mascara as well. So, And they are both matching. So they go together. What else did I get? Um, oh, that was discounted. So the next thing I got was, I can't really focus it. Um, I got some of this hand cream and it says for dry and chapped hands because I feel like when you're washing your hands so much, they just get dry. Um, so yeah, I wanted to try some new hand cream and it's not too fragrance either. It's um, she butter and that's it. So hopefully it won't be like harsh on the skin because I'm terrible with um, like having sensitive skin so I don't like anything that is fragranced um, so next thing what did we get so I got this primer I love um, CBD oil products I have lots of skincare with CBD oil and hemp seed oil um, which is the like cannabis oil but it's like not got the high in it um, so it's meant to be really good for your skin and I always find that when I'm doing all my skincare my skin's good I've been eating loads of brownies and dairy so that's why I'm breaking out because I don't normally have much dairy but it's just a face primer so um, it looks really good as you can see it's really bright in here <laughs> there you go um, so yes it smells amazing as well so we will see what that is like because I wanted a new primer that was £3.80 that was probably the most expensive thing that I bought and then the last thing I got was some baby wipes and these are sensitive ones because like I said sensitive skin and I use these to take my makeup off baby wipes are the best for taking makeup off because they are like they're for babies so they're always really good for your skin so that was everything i got from wilco's in a very long-winded way so i hope that you're not bored already um so next we got stuff from poundland so i got some happy hippos the things that i look like i was smuggling um in my handbag so i didn't realize because i've never seen the hazelnut ones but i always put the cocoa ones in um my brownies and like on cakes or anything so i got the hazelnut ones because i thought then um i can mix and match people usually just say um kinder hippos i don't think people know that there's a difference um obviously if there's no allergies or anything but you wouldn't be able to have any if you've got any nut allergies obviously but um yeah so it just depends if people have a preference i can offer it if they do have a preference but if they don't then i can just pick one um but yeah i'm interested to see what the hazelnut ones are like so they were a pound each i got a milky bar these are the milky bar kid ones where it's got the little photo of the um, like engraving of the Milky Bar Kid on it rather than just a plain Milky Bar. So those were also a pound. All of this stuff was a pound, actually. So before I start going through all of this, it was all a pound. Um, I got a mini egg bar, which has mini eggs in it, obviously. And um, I'm excited to try this because this is a new thing, I think. I've never seen it before. So I've, I've seen loads of people posting about it. So I got that. Um, my Easter brownie tray is coming out soon. It's got mini eggs. This is a little hint. Um, and I've also got a blondie as well, which has Percy pigs in it, um, but like Easter Percy pigs. So I've got those two coming out. I'm waiting for Valentine's orders to close, which close in a week. Um, and then I will be posting about Easter straight away. I got this. Um, I've been trying to find these because I use little tongs. I use these for like picking up my brownies because I don't like to pick them up with my hands. Um, when I'm decorating, I cut them and pick them up with these and like move them around. I only put the toppings on by hand, but obviously my hands are clean. Um, but when I'm putting them into the cellophane bags, I like to use some little grabbers. So I got these because I thought that they were better than those. So, and again, a pound. So, um, good deal, not very good. Um, 
So I got some, these were the last thing I got for the bakery. Um, Kinder bars, because I was running out. Um, I used a load of them yesterday on some brownies. Then personal stuff now. Um, I got some cocoa pop bars because I'm trying to be a bit healthier. So I got these to snack on during the day. Oh, I was meant to get an avocado. There is a thousand things running around in my head today. Um, I'm really sorry. Um, yeah, I was meant to get another avocado. I have got one, so that will do me for today. Um, I got some fruit winders because I haven't had these in so long and they were in Poundland and I thought, why not? Because I don't know about anyone else, but I used to take these to school every single day of my sandwich and yeah, they were really, really good. So I thought, why not try them? Actually, are they suitable for vegetarians? Let's see, where is it? Ah, oh, they are, They yeah, they are. Cause it's fruit, I guess. Yeah, yeah, they're suitable for vegetarians. Um, cause yeah, I am veggie, so I don't, I wouldn't be able to eat them if they had any gelatin in them. I got two cans of Coke Zero because I need it today because I have so much to do. Um, not baking, but just ceramics related. Um, I got some packing tape because I'm running out. I'm not running out like soon, probably in like a month. Um, but I'm running out soon of fragile tape. So, um, I got another one of those and then I got some bigger ones because I use, um, sellotape, which is half the size of that. And I just wanted some thicker, um, sellotape to use on the postal boxes. This, I got a little pen. I don't know what I was trying to say there. Um, yeah, I just thought it was snazzy. It's got a little pearl on the top just a pen I can't really say much else about it um but yeah I thought that was really cute and I just wanted a designated pen for I like having like special pens you know like fancy designs I don't like using like basic biros so I always buy like fancy fancy little ones there were some with like a, a fake diamond on the top which looked quite bougie but I thought that this one was a bit more classy um so I believe that is everything and I think I'm going to end the vlog here because this haul was really, really long. Um, but yeah, I went to the post office. I went and did a little bit of shopping. And here is my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know if you want to see more of these because I do um, like kind of weekly food shops for baking. But I also end up forgetting half the stuff I need. So then that's why I'm always popping out. But luckily, because the shop is five minutes away from my house, it's I don't mind. Um, but yeah, so if you want to see one of my like big bakery kind of hauls of um, ingredients and stuff like that, then let me know because then when I do one next week, I will show you it and give you a little breakdown. It's going to be all, you know, like flour and stuff. But if you want to see that, then I will happily show you. It might be a little bit boring for other people, but um, some people might be wanting to know what I buy. So and like brands and stuff like that. I'm going to try Sainsbury's as well because I went in there the other day and everything was really reasonable, like flour and everything, chocolate, like cooking chocolate. It was all really reasonably priced. So, and they also have some good sprinkles in there. I would try to refrain from buying too much, but um, I think I'm going to move over to Sainsbury's rather than Tesco's. So yes, if you want to see a little Sainsbury's haul, then let me know and I will make sure to film it at the weekend when I go shopping. But yeah, that is the end of the vlog. I hope you enjoyed. I also hope that the washing machine wasn't too loud because it went on literally as soon as I started filming this. Um, but yeah, I will see you in my next video. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe and I will see you later. Bye.